God bless you. Good evening to you. This is Pastor Cephas. Please invite someone to join us. Text someone. Let someone join us tonight. And um, tonight we are going to pray with the anointing oil as a token. So get an anointing oil available tonight. I'm going to tell you what to do with it. Amen. So get it ready tonight. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Um, this is day number 55 of our 90 days call to the altar. Amen. And um, it is necessary and imperative that we remain steadfast with God in prayer. Amen. Um, I say this all the time that prayer tends the hand that tends the world. Um, if you can pray, you can move God. And God has the capability to move everything. So there is nothing in your life that prayer cannot move because prayer moves God. Amen. Prayer moves God. One of the things in the ministry of Jesus that the Bible tell, tells us that he did habitually is prayer. The Bible tells us that he prayed as a habit. Prayer was a habit to him. Amen. In the book of Luke chapter number 22, we're going to enter into prayer right away tonight because there is an assignment placed on us tonight. There are certain things in your life, in my life, that must be broken. There, 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 there are things that need to be broken tonight. Amen. And tonight, it will be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. It will be broken tonight. Anything that has become a burden on your life, tonight, it shall be destroyed. It shall be broken and it shall be destroyed. The burden shall be lifted off your life tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. So in the book of Luke 22, the verse number 39, the Bible says, Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives. This is the mount called Gethsemane. See, the word Gethsemane means the presence of the olives or the crushing or the breaking of the olives tonight we are going to break oil amen and i'm going to explain that to you tonight um the word gethsemane means the crushing or the pressing or the breaking of the olives in order for the oil the in order for what they call it The olive oil to be made there has to be a crushing of the olives and the crushing of the olives is a painful process it is a painful process and the prayers we are praying tonight is to press and to crush certain things because when the anointing is released the Bible says, the yoke shall be destroyed and the burden shall be lifted. The Bible says, and the yoke of your shoulder shall be broken or shall be destroyed. Why? Because of the anointing. The anointing breaks. It breaks yokes. It lifts, us, it lifts up burdens. If there is anything you should pray for in your life every day, is that God, give me anointing. Give me anointing. That's why Jesus prayed his first prayer when he entered the church. He said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me and he has anointed me. The Bible says, when the anointing comes, the yoke shall be destroyed. He said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me and he has anointed me to set the captives free or to break free the captives.
captives. The anointing is the agent that destroys the yokes. A yoke is anything that suppresses you or oppresses your life. A yoke is anything that keeps your life stagnant and you don't find yourself progressing in life. A yoke is that which causes your life to go around in circles. And sometimes when you are going around in circles, you think that you are progressing because after all, you are moving. But the movement is around the same place. Scripture said, Israel went around Kadesh Bane to Kadesh Bane. They went around in circles from Kadesh Bane to Kadesh Bane. And they thought that they were progressing. Why? Because every day, the glory of God was with them, the pillar of crowd was with them, and the pillar of fire was with them. Manna was coming from heaven. So they thought that they were experiencing new things, but they were going in circles. You can experience new things in life and not progress in life. You can have new things in life and your life still does not go forward. You can buy new clothes, new car, a new house, and your life still does not progress. You can be married and your life does still, I mean, your life still does not progress. It takes the anointing. It is the agent of mobility. The, the, the anointing is the agent of mobility. When your car lacks oil, it is not going to operate the way it's supposed to operate. Why? Because there is friction without oil. There is opposition without oil. Progress shall be delayed and opposed without oil. The Bible says Jesus went out as usual. It was his habit. It was his habit to go to the Mount of Olives, Gethsemane, to pray. What was he praying for? The place he was praying is symbolic of what he was praying for. He, 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 he intentionally went to the Mount of Olives or Gethsemane, which means the pressing or the crushing of the olives. For anointing to occur, the olives must be crushed. The olives must be broken. So it was symbolic of Jesus to go to Gethsemane. He was not just going there. It was a token of something that was taking place within him. It was his expectations. Tonight, you and I have entered our own Gethsemane. Invite someone tonight to join us. We are going to pray. We are going to get into prayers tonight. We're going to get into prayers tonight. The Bible says it was the usual habit of Jesus to go to Gethsemane. But this time, the Bible says he took together with him Peter, James, and John. He took together with him the inner circle or the foundation of the church. In other words, Jesus expected you and I to pray in our own Gethsemane. He expected you and I to press for the oil, to, 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 to break for the anointing. There is a need for the olives to be broken before the oil will gash out. The anointing only comes through a process of breaking. A process of breaking. So what we do tonight is only a sign and a token. And I will explain this to you tonight before we go through it. But I want you to understand it because you, 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 you can do something 
without understanding or else it will not be fruitful. Amen. It was his usual habit to go to the Mount of Olives to press for the anointing. He took together with him this time Peter, James, and John, the inner circle of the church, which is a prophetic indication that the future church must pray for anointing. Because without the anointing, the yoke will not be broken. The yoke will not be destroyed. Say in the name of Jesus. Say my father. Say my maker. Say tonight. I declare. In any way. I have fallen short. Of your glory. And expectations. By resisting. Your anointing. Say please. Have mercy. Have mercy. And forgive me. In the name. Of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. The worst thing a Christian can do. Let me put this somewhere. The worst thing a Christian can do. Is to operate without anointing. Say my father. Say my maker. Say in any way. I have fallen short. Of your anointing. Say, say my father. Say my maker. In any way, I have fallen short of your glory and expectations by resisting the anointing, your anointing. Say, please, O oh Lord, have mercy and forgive me in the name of Jesus Christ. See, the, 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 the problem with us believers is that we are operating below God's expectation and the anointing for our lives. Paul said to the church, why are you behaving like mere humans? In other words, he's saying to them that because of the Holy Spirit, you are not mere humans. So you are operating below expectations. Let's pray this again. Say, in the name of Jesus, say my father, say my maker, say in any way, I have fallen short of your glory and expectations by resisting your anointing, say please, have mercy, have mercy, and forgive me, in the name of Jesus, amen. Now open up your mouth right now and begin to pray tonight, begin to pray tonight, begin to pray tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Mahantuya kabaka tuya sikataya, labra kapata taya sakataya, I want you to plead the mercies of God, the mercy of God, Plead for the mercy of God tonight. Mahantuya kaya diya sikataya. Lebron deya sakataya. Adayan taya labros kadayan daya. Labran taya satakaya labra. Lebran taya labras kadaya labrosi andaya. In the name of Jesus. Likabakatuan daya labra. Likaya labron deya zikarabalaba. Adan taya zayan taya labra. E mama mama labros kadan taya labra. Kabanta ya labra zikata ya likaba katuas kidianta ya laba. I want you to plead tonight. Plead tonight. Plead tonight for mercy. Plead tonight for mercy. Plead tonight for mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Plead for mercy. Plead for forgiveness. Anywhere you are falling short, plead today. The Father forgive me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of the blood. Let the power of the blood cover me tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I plead the mercy of the superior blood of the living Christ over my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mahantaya, Mahantaya, Kabakatoya Sayandaya, Labrantaya, Labra Sikataya, Labrantaya Ziandaya Labra, Adande Labra, Adandaya Labra Zikataya Labra. Spirit of the living God, in the name of Jesus, Kabakatuas Kataya Labra, Adanta Yalabras Kataya Labra, Labranta Yalabra, Sayanta Yalabra, Emma Malabro, Zeyan de Yalaba, Kayala Dio, Zeyan de Yalabanaba, Kababa Palabra, Zeyan de Yalaba, Inde Yalabra, Zeyan de Yalabra, Kababa Baba Baba Yalabra, Ata Yalabra, Zikata Kayalaba. Imama mama la brasi karaba la bara ba kapanta ya la bra kapanta ya la bra zianda ya la bra zianda ya la bra zianda ya la bra 
We play for mercy. We play for mercy. In the name of Jesus. Rabba Katwa. Labras Katan Dayas Yandaya. Adaya Labras Yandaya Laba. Adaya Laba Daba 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 Chika Yadaba Daba. Kababa Yadaba Daba Ziyanda Yalabra. Daya Labra Ziyanda Yalaba Daba. Aban Doya Zika Yalaba Daba. Adan Daya Labra Ziyanda Yalaba. Kayala Bada Bada Bada. Ayan Daya Labra Ziyanda Yalabra. Adaya Daya Laba Daba. Adaya Daya Labra Ziyanda Yalaba Daba. Aban Daba Katayan Daya. Aban Daya Ziyanda Ya. Aban Daya Ziyanda Ya. Kaban Daya Ziyanda Ya. Kaban Daya in the name of Jesus. We are praying tonight. Please share, invite someone to come and join tonight. Amen. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. When the anointing comes upon your life that burden shall be lifted tonight that burden shall be lifted because of the anointing whatever burden listen listen Jesus prayed for people and he said unto them go your way your faith has made you whole go your way your faith has made you whole. Some shall recover their miracle tonight because of their faith. And some shall receive it irrespective of their faith because God is still gracious. There was a man lying down in the same place for 40 years. Jesus said unto him, Do you want to walk? The man began to give excuses as to how he has been mistreated by people in the church. And that is the situation with a lot of believers. They are complaining and they are not praying. Nobody likes me. Nobody wants me. Nobody cares about me. Nobody calls me. Nobody talks to me. And they are complaining. And Jesus said, do you want to be made whole? Do you want to walk? That is the question. All you got to say is, yes, I want to walk. But the man began to complain. And yet still that day, Jesus healed him. Irrespective of his faith, he was healed. And there were those that were healed because their faith responded to the call of the anointing. So he said, go your way. Your faith has made you whole. And the thing about those that receive the miracle by their faith, they can sustain it. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, the Bible says, it shall come to pass in that day. It shall come to pass in that day. The day when the anointing is released, your miracle, your breakthrough, your expectations will come to pass. All you need is that the anointing be released. The day that the anointing is released, the expectation shall be met. Nothing will remain the same in your life if the anointing descends upon you. It says, it shall come to pass in that day, the day of the anointing, that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be broken. The translation from the old King James says, the yoke will be destroyed. The yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing oil. The old King James says, the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The day that the anointing oil, it says the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing oil. In the translation, 
should not have been like that. But I am not going to explain exactly what that means today. But that is not a translation. But that works. So don't worry about it. And the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil, he says over there. In that day, it shall come to pass. The day that the oil is released, every yoke of oppression, anything that has suppressed you, anything that has kept you in the same place, shall be destroyed tonight. Tonight, tonight, say my father, say my maker, say tonight, release the anointing upon my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Say let the anointing be unleashed over my life tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up your mouth right now and pray and pray right now and say my father. Release the anointing. Release the anointing over my life. Let the anointing be released. Mahadoya zikataya. Lebron dea zikaraba katoya sayandaya. Labran daya ziyandaya kaya katoya. Lima katoya zikaraba daba daba. Atanta ya zikaraba daba. Labron dea zikaraba kataya. Le kabakatua ya laba daba ziyandaya. Kabanta ya ziyandaya kabakatu sikataya. Limros kadanta ya ziyandaya labros. Adanta ya zakaraba kataya. Labra kataya sakataka ya laba. Open up your mouth and pray to my father. Release the anointing. Release the anointing upon my life. Upon my life. Tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Say I receive. Say I receive the yoke breaking anointing over my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Say I receive the burden lifted anointing over my life tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Say I receive, say I receive the yoke breaking, the yoke breaking anointing over my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Say I receive, say I receive the burden lifting the burden lifting anointing over my life tonight in the name of Jesus Christ kaba kato ramakata ya sayanta ya labra labra kata ya zeyanda ya labra imama labro nde ya labro se karabara no zeyanda ya labara no kaba labra se karabara bara ba labra nda ya rabakata ya labra labra kata ya labra zeyanda ya in the name of Jesus rebakato ya nde ya labro zeyanda ya laba e rabo se kaba kata ya laba limama labro se karabara ba zeyanda ya laba imama mama 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 labro se kata ya in the name of Jesus rakaba katwa se kata ya rekaba kata ya labra lekaba kata ya labra zeyanda ya kapanda ya zeyanda ya labra le baba 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 abayanda abayanda ya labra abayanda ya labra zeyanda ya labra kapanda ya zeyanda ya kapanda ya zeyanda ya labra e baba 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 we are praying tonight Listen, we are praying tonight. There is nothing the anointing can do. There is nothing. There is nothing the anointing cannot do in your life. The Bible says it will come to pass on that day. That when the anointing comes upon your life, the yoke shall be destroyed and the burden shall be lifted. In other words, all you need is the anointing to come. Because if the anointing comes, the Bible says, these things will be destroyed and lifted. 
simply because of the presence of the anointing. The anointing makes a difference. It will make a difference in your life. Peter was no one. He was a coward. But one day, while they were praying in the upper room, the anointing descended upon him and the Bible said he began to speak in new tongues. And he began to prophesy. And when he preached, the Bible says 3,000 people gave their life to Jesus in one day. Why? It was the anointing. It was the anointing. It was the anointing. The anointing makes a difference. Before, I couldn't talk without stuttering. I couldn't make a complete sentence without stuttering. But the day the anointing came upon my life, I could not stutter anymore. It is the anointing. The anointing makes a difference in a person's life. The first day I took that mic and ministered, after that day, that was it. I started no more. It was the anointing. Listen, we have witnessed what the anointing can do in a person's life. You can doubt it. It is the anointing. It makes a difference. There are places we were not qualified, but the anointing qualified us. There were places we were rejected, but, but the anointing changed the report. There were places we were asked to pack and go. We were being evicted, but the anointing changed it. It is the anointing. The anointed makes a difference. What you need tonight is the anointed. And whatever you must do to get the anointed tonight, enter your own Gethsemane. Enter your own presence of the olive and press for the oil. Tonight, you need to break the olives so that the oil will come out. If you don't break, the oil will not come out. If you don't crush the olives, the oil will not come out. There is a price. There is a cause to the anointed. The olive oil does not just come out of the olives just like that. No. Somebody got to press. Somebody got to crush it. And you have to crush tonight. You want anointing, you need to crush. You want anointing, you... You don't just get anointing because you say, Jesus, I love you. No, you don't just get anointing because you are ordained or you are called. No, you got to press. Jesus himself went to Gethsemane and he pressed. You cannot sleep and be anointed. You cannot eat and be anointed every day you are eating, Monday through Friday. Anointing does not come that way. You got to press. When we call for prayer, you got to pray because that is the way by which the oil comes out. It comes by crushing the olives. And Jesus crushed the olives by praying. The Bible says it was his usual habit. Say tonight. Say tonight. Say anointing. Say locate me. Say locate me. Say anointing. Say anointing. Locate me. Locate me. Tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Say my father. Say my maker. Say anoint me afresh. In the name of Jesus Christ, say my father, say my maker, let your anointing locate me today, locate me today, and let every yoke, let every yoke and every satanic limitations in my life be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Say let every yoke, let every yoke and every satanic limitations over my life be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Say my father, say my maker, say tonight, let the anointing locate me. Say let the anointing locate me in the name of Jesus Christ. Say let the anointing, let the anointing locate me, locate me and break and destroy every yoke, every limitation, every pattern in my life tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. 
open up your mouth for the next 30 seconds and begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. Rabba katoya sikataya. Rabba kato skidi ala brasi andaya. Libra katoya zakaba katu askata. Adanta ya labra. Adante ya labra zikataya. Reba baba 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 labra zikarabalaba. Ema mama mama karaba kataya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rekaba katu askata ya labra. Labro kataya. Reba skata. Entaya baka tu askata ya daya. Let the anointing break that yoke of your life, of your family, of your children, of your marriage, of your finances. Tonight, let the anointing speak in your life. Let the anointing speak in your life tonight. Let the yoke be destroyed by the anointing oil in the name of Jesus. Kabakata, rabakato ya sakata, labrakata ya ziandaya, rabakata ya labra ziandaya, kabakata ya labra, libra ya ziandaya, imama kato ya sakata ya, atayanta ya sakata ya labros kata. Lift up your voice today and mention that area in your life where the oil must break, where the oil must destroy. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the oil be released. Let the oil be released. Let the oil be released into every avenue of our lives, in our ministry, in our finances, in our jobs, in our business, in our families. Let the oil speak. Let the oil be released. Let the oil be released in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the oil be released tonight. Let the oil be released tonight. Kamakata, la bruska daya labra, kaban daya labra, kabakata ya labra, zian daya labra, emama la bronte kabakata ya labra, se karabara bara bara, ata bakata ya, ata bakato ya zikata ya, re bakata ya zian daya, re kabakato as kata kaba, adu kata kaba kata, raba kata kaba kata, raba kata ya se kata ya la bras kata kaba kata. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is keeping you in the same place tonight will release the oil. Will release the oil. Let the anointing visit your situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Makatu katakayanda, rapa katuskeyanda ya. I command that bondage to release you. I command those shackles to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that has bound you, I command it to release you tonight by the anointing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Holy Ghost rise upon you tonight. Let the Holy Ghost fall on you tonight. Let the Holy Ghost fall on you tonight in the name of Jesus and release you. Release you tonight release you tonight kabakata rabakata ya saya rabakata ya labraskata rabakata ya saya ntaya rabakata ya labaraba kaya labaraba laba kaya labaraba laba kaya labaraba laba sikata kaya laba kabanda kabakaya kaya laba kabaya labra kabaya labra in the name of jesus say my father say my maker say tonight tonight let the anointing, let the anointing take me, take me, take me from where I am, from where I am to my higher grounds, to my higher grounds, from the backside, from the backside, from the backside to the palace in the name of Jesus Christ. Say tonight, say tonight, let the anointing catapult me. Catapult me to where I must be in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say tonight, say tonight, let the anointing nullify every spirit of delayance and stagnancy in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, Zerubbabel had built the temple of God. After Solomon's temple was destroyed because Israel was carried to captivity, when Israel returned back after 70 years, they came to Israel from Babylon. They came back to Israel. And Zerubbabel, um, Zerubbabel the governor, was commanded to build the temple back that was destroyed. But the Bible says when he built the temple, it was not as beautiful 
as the temple of Solomon. It was a disappointment to those who saw the glory of the former temple. The Bible says in the book of Ezra chapter 3, the Bible says that when the temple was lifted up, the young ones who have not seen the beauty and the glory of the former temple were shouting for joy. Listen, some of you, you haven't seen nothing yet. You are celebrating, which is great, but eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the mouth of man what God has purpose to do. You have not seen nothing yet. The Bible says the young ones began to celebrate. They were rejoicing because to them, the new temple was beautiful. And then the Bible says the ancient ones, those with gray hairs who have lived old and they have seen the former temple of Solomon. The Bible says when they saw the new temple, they began to cry. They began to cry because it was pale in comparison to the former glory. Then God sent the prophet to say to Zerubbabel because he was discouraged. And God said to him, he said, Zerubbabel, it is not by might and it is not by power, but it is by my spirit. He says, what you are going through and what you are seeing now, this temple does not look the way the former one looks. But I want you to know, it is not by might and it is not by power. It is by my spirit. All you need is the anointing. The spirit of God. Tonight, wherever you are, we are praying this prayer before we go to the oil tonight. We are praying this prayer. Say, in the name of Jesus, say, my father, say, my maker, say, tonight, every yoke of backwardness and non-achievement in my life, in my life and ministry and business and family be destroyed, say, be destroyed by the anointing, by the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, you shall not retrogress. You shall not retrogress. You shall not retrogress in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay hands on yourself and say, I shall not retrogress in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I shall go forward. Say, I refuse to retrogress. Say, I will not lose what I have. Say, I will go forward. Say, I will go forward. Say, I will go forward. Some of you, your life looks like you are going backward. Some of us, your life looks like it is in slow mo Things are not going fast. Four months, less than four months to the end of 2022. 2023 is coming in less than four months. Where is your life? Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say my father. Say my maker. Say grant me divine speed. Say give me divine speed and acceleration and promotion in both my physical and spiritual life by the anointing in the name of Jesus. You need speed. Child of God, you need speed. You need divine acceleration. You need divine promotion. You must go forward. You must go forward. The Bible said, and the spirit of the Lord came upon Elijah. My God, tonight, let the anointing come upon you tonight. I say, let the anointing come upon you tonight. Declare right now where you are and say, Holy Ghost, let the anointing come upon me tonight. The anointing of speed, let it come on me tonight. The anointing of promotion, let it come on me tonight. The anointing of divine acceleration, let it come on me, both physically and spiritually. Let it come on me. The anointing of speed, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray in the next 30 seconds. Mahados kataya labros, labras katan taya labra, labra antaya zikara badabadaba, labra 
Labranta ya Zakara Bala Balaba. Lepa to ask at Ayalabra. Lateya Labras Katanta ya Labras Yanda Yalaba. Labra Kataya Labra. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rabba Kataya Labra. Open up your mouth and declare it upon your life. The anointing of speed. The anointing of speed. Let it come on my life. Let it come on my life. The anointing of speed. Let it come on my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing for promotion. Let it come on my life. In the name of Jesus. Karabokata. Rabakata yala dios. Libras katanta yalabra. Atanta yala bras yanda yalabra. Labra anta yas yanda ya. Lika yala bras yanda yalabra. Inda yala bros yanda yalaba. Kaba baba yala bras. Sika yala bra. Labra kata yala bra. Kaba kato yas yanda ya. Rabba kata yas yanda yalabra. Labra anta yalabra. Labra kata ya. Labra kata ya. Labra kata ya labra. Labra kata ya labra ziyanda ya. Spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus. Christ, Mahantu Kataya Sakata, Remo Kotosi Anteya Kataya Sayandaya. Let the power of God come upon you tonight. Receive anointing tonight. Receive anointing to break through tonight. I say, Receive anointing to break through tonight. Receive the oil to break through tonight. In the name of Jesus. Listen, take your anointing oil. We're going to pray tonight. Listen to me. The anointing makes a difference. It makes a difference. Samuel said unto Saul, he said, when you leave this place, you shall meet a company of prophets. They are prophesying. Join them. And when you join them, the spirit of God will fall on you. The anointing will fall on you. Anointing is contagious. Anointing is released by association. He says, join the company of the prophets. Listen, that is why when there is a gathering of prayer, you got to join it. Because anointing is released. Anointing is released. Saul so is not a prophet. But somewhere says unto him, when you leave this place, you shall meet, on your way home, you shall meet a company of prophets. They are prophesying. And they are going their way. Join them. I know you are going somewhere. I know you have to go home. But join them. Join them. If you want the anointing, join them. If you want the anointing, associate yourself with the company. If you want the anointing, you have to go where the anointing is. You have to associate where the anointing is. You have to be part of where the anointing is. So he says unto him, join them. Join them. And the Bible says... He joined them. He said, tomorrow we have service. Don't miss it. Join them. Join them tomorrow. He says, you, you, you will see a company of prophets. Join them. And when you join them, the anointing, which is the prophetic anointing, which is on them, shall fall on you. He says, the spirit will fall on you and thou shall prophesy and you shall prophesy. You know what he said before that? He says, the spirit will come upon you and you shall become another man and you shall prophesy. The anointing will make you a different person. The anointing will change what they said about you. The anointing will change what is going on in your life right now. Whatever you are frustrated about, whatever you are tired about, the anointing will change it. He says, when the anointing comes upon you, you shall become another man. You shall become another woman. You shall become another person. The anointing can change you. The anointing will change you tonight. Thou shall become another man. In the same day, the anointing changed him. Child of God, we are not praying for tomorrow. We are praying for today. In the same day, the Bible says that the anointing changed him. Tonight, get your oil. The anointing changed him. That same day, 
that same day, the anointing changed him. Let me read a scripture. Tonight we're going to break this oil. Whichever oil you have, we are going to pray and we are going to crush it. The Bible says in Luke 22 verse 39, that Jesus went to the Mount of Olive as usual. One translation said, as he was in the habit of doing. It is something he does often. The Bible calls it Gethsemane, which is the same as the Mount of Olives. But the word Gethsemane means the pressing of the olives or the crushing of the olives or the breaking of the olives. It was the place it was the locality that when they gather the vine of the olives, they bring them to that locality that is where the laborers will come and they will crush the olives so that they can make oil out of it, so that, so that they can get oil out of it. The process of getting oil involves breaking and crushing. Breaking and crushing. And Jesus knew that. That is why the Bible says he went often to Gethsemane to pray. Symbolically, he understood that as a result of praying, oil is being released. Anointing is being released because he was in the place of the crushing of the oil, the breaking of the oil. And by prayer, he broke the olives for the anointing to come out. chapter 7. Look, chapter 7. Stay with me. I have just a few minutes with you. And we're going to pray tonight. Verse 36. No, actually, let's go to Mark. This story is recorded in the book of Luke, the book of Matthew, and the book of Mark. John makes reference to it, but he does not tell the story. He only tells us the name of the individual that the three gospel writers omitted and did not tell us. We found out the name of the woman involved in this story in the book of John, chapter 11. But here in Mark chapter 14, get your oil, we're going to pray on it tonight. We're going to pray on it. Some things have to be dealt with by breaking and crushing of the olives. Mark chapter 14. Mark chapter 14 verse 3. Mark chapter 14 verse 3. Meanwhile, Jesus was in Bethany at the home of Simon. A man who had previously had leprosy. While he was eating, a woman came in with a beautiful alabaster jar of expensive perfume made from essence of spikenard. She broke open the jar and poured the perfume over his head. Some of those at the table were indignant. Why waste such expensive perfume? They asked. It could have been sold for a year's wage. And the money given to the poor. So they scolded her harshly. Jesus replied, leave her alone. Why criticize her for doing such a good thing to me? You will always have the poor among you. And you can help them whenever you want to. You will always have the poor among you and you can help them whenever you want to. But you will not always have me. She has done what she could and has anointed my body for burial ahead of time. I tell you the truth. Wherever the good news is preached throughout the world, this woman's deed will be remembered and discussed. And today we are discussing it. Now listen carefully because we're going to pray. I want you to understand something before we pray tonight. Because I want you to understand what we are about to do as a token tonight. 
The Bible says Jesus was in the house of Simeon, the leper. Some translations from the other two gospel writers, Matthew and Luke, tells us that Simeon was previously a Pharisee. Then it turns out he had, he had leprosy. Jesus healed him of the leprosy. So he invited Jesus to his house. And the Bible says, while they were eating, a woman entered the place. This woman, her name was not mentioned in Mark, Luke, and Matthew. But John tells us her name is Mary, the sister of Martha and Lazarus. This event is her first encounter with Jesus, as we have come to realize. The Bible says this woman came with an alabaster jar or box of ointment. And she came to Jesus. The Bible says that the jar that she carried, the Bible says that it was made of the most expensive spices called spikenard or of the essence of the nard. The nard is considered the most expensive of all fragrances of flowers. And during those times, you have to travel about a year's journey for you to be able to find places where the nard or the spark nard was made or was grown and harvested. So it was very precious. Now, in the translation, the exact oil that the woman had, the Bible tells us it is the principal oil. When the Bible says it is the principal oil, in the book of Exodus 30, God says unto Moses concerning the anointing oil, he said unto him that the spices are the principal oil, what you bring together. In other words, it is the most genuine. So the oil that the woman had is the most genuine. It was the master work of the perfumer. It was an oil that is recognized by its very bland when it shows up the moment the woman brought it and they saw it they said that is the essence of nard that thing is expensive it is like today when somebody brings into a place tiffany diamonds or something and then immediately you know that this is expensive so the woman brought the thing into the jar into the place and the Bible says, according to Luke, not stated here in Mark, but according to Luke chapter 7, Luke tells us that the oil in the alabaster box, the fragrance she brought is worth an annual's wage. In fact, it is stated here also in the book of Mark 14 verse 4. It could have been sold for a year's wages and the money given to the poor. So it is worth an annual's wage. You see, the average annual's wage in America today, it's around 50K, 50,000 a year. That is the average annual pay, according to statistics. So you are saying that a woman brought something that was precious, around 50,000. I want you to understand this very carefully, what she did. The Bible said it was an oil worth that much. It was precious in those days. That family was rich. We, we know that already. Because later on, Jesus, you know, used, started visiting that family. And he was a common guest in that place. But this was the first encounter. The woman comes to the place, takes the oil. And it, the Bible said it is in the alabaster jar. The jar is made in a way like this. And it has a neck. And on top of it is a seal, like this one has a seal on it. And to release the seal for this one, you have to remove this thing, go around and remove this thing. And then the seal comes off. When the seal comes off, it is no longer... It becomes a used material. You can't sell this without a seal. So the oil had a seal on it that you have to take off 
the alabaster jar that she had, it was sealed. That is how they kept them. They placed them in the alabaster jar, which is made of marble stone. Soft marble stones. They made them with marble stones. And then they'll place a seal so that the perfume cannot escape. But you know when the woman came, the Bible said she did not just remove the seal. The Bible said she broke the neck of it. She broke the neck of the jar. She broke the neck of the jar. See, the, he, the, the Greek word that was used over there when the Bible says that and she broke it. That word does not simply mean to break. That word means to forcefully break something with both hands. That is the Greek word. It means to forcefully break something with both hands. So the woman had the jar and she broke it. She released the oil in a way that the oil after it is used cannot be used again. Because if it was not broken, she can put it back and seal it. But she broke it. So you know what they said? They said, what a waste. Why break it? You could simply remove the seal if you want to pour some of the oil. Why break it? The Greek word being that the Bible said she, she, she broke it. She broke it. And the word that was used is a strong word which means with both hands. And the translation in the strong dictionary in the Concordize says that it was shattered. Shattered. She, she, she broke and shattered it. Listen to me tonight. My time is up. I want to pray about this. Another time we'll talk about this well. But I want to pray on the oil that you, are, you have now. The purpose is to break that oil. Break that oil. Break that oil. Mahados Kadaya Sita Kaya Labros. Limros Kadin Dea Kaban Tu Sikata Kaya Labros. Limros Katata Kaya Labros. Mekatuski Dea Sika Lama Sita Kaya. Tonight I want you to speak to God about one thing that is on your heart that you want God to do. One thing. Tonight, we are going to break this oil on that one thing. That one thing that is on your heart. That one thing. After this oil is broken, it cannot be collected again. We, 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 we are making no reservations. The breaking of the oil is a signal, a token of no reservations. That we are not holding back. We are not counting the price of the oil. We are not saving the oil for another day. But tonight, oh God, as this oil is broken by its value, by its price, as the oil is broken, so let that yoke be broken. That is preventing the rising of your people. So let the burden be lifted that is frustrating your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is frustrating you tonight, I command it to release you tonight. I command it to release you tonight. To release you tonight. To release you tonight. I command those debt. I command those financial situations that are messing you up, disturbing your life, to be broken tonight, to be shattered tonight. Let it be shattered. Let it be shattered tonight. Let it be shattered tonight. Maskadan dea satakaya. Lebron dea satakaya lados. I want you to pray. One prayer request on that thing which you have tonight. One prayer request. One prayer request tonight. Lay it on it and pray tonight. Lay that prayer request on it tonight. Masatakaya labrus. Lebros kadan daya labrus. Labrantaya labraskatantaya labrantaya zikarabalabalados 
Lebranta ya saka ya labras. Lebranta ya labras. Gidianda ya labras. Kapanta ya labras. Katanta ya labarabash. Kaya labarabarabash. Kaya labash. Kapa pa 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 pa. Kata kapa kata kapa. Kapa kata kapa kata kata. Rapa kata kata ya la dios. In the name of Jesus. You ask the question, why break the oil? Listen to me. The Bible says, the woman took the most expensive. See, to break the most expensive thing means that I am not counting the cost. Means that I am not holding back. Means that I am not going back on this prayer. It is settled tonight. It is done tonight. Whatever I say, I am not taking it back. It is done tonight. She brought the most expensive, a genuine knot, the speak knot, the most precious of all ointment, an annual wage of fragrance. And the Bible said she broke it. And the Greek translation of the word break, in that translation means to completely to crash completely. That is what the Greek word means. To crash completely or to shatter. To shatter it. Tonight. Tonight. This is a sign and a token. Take the oil. Let me pray on it tonight. I bless this oil. I bless it. I bless it. Let it cease today. Let it cease today. From its natural use. Let it serve divine purpose. Let it cease tonight from the original intent and the imagination of the manufacturer. And let it serve divine purpose. I speak the ordinance of the holy oil upon this oil that you have today. I speak life upon it. I speak the power and the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. To take control. I declare this very day upon this oil. That when the seal is broken. Let every power that has tormented you be broken. When this oil is shattered. Let anything that is holding you back be shattered. Be completely crushed and destroyed. Let the yoke be destroyed. Let the yoke be shattered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the yoke be crushed over your life. As you crush this oil today, let that problem be crushed of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare this very day, when this oil crush, wherever it will fall, the fragrance thereof, may the power of the Holy Spirit be released for your sake, for your deliverance, for your uplifting, for the glory of God to be made manifest in your life and all that concern you be blessed. Let all that concern you be blessed. Let everything that concerns your life be blessed. Let everything that concerns and pertain to you be blessed. I declare this oil consecrated for divine sanctification. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call it so. And I call it down. Amen. God bless you. Tonight, tonight, shatter this bottle. Wherever you can break it, crush it. Amen. Break it. If you don't want to break it, just open the seal and pour it out. Completely pour it out. But I'm going to shatter it. Amen. Because what I'm dealing with, it needs to be crushed completely. Amen. Uh, but this is just a token of understanding of what the prayer is intended to do. Tonight, God has blessed you. God has touched you in a marvelous way. As you crush this oil today, angels will be released to perform everything you have asked the Lord today. May the Lord bless you. If you are blessed today, somebody type in, I am blessed. Just type in, I am blessed. Type in, I am blessed today. God bless you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being part of the prayers tonight. Thank you for coming on tonight. May the Lord bless you. Amen and amen. 
tomorrow is our service. It's prayer and anointing in service. Don't miss it. Prayer and anointing tomorrow. Be in the house. It is going to be demonstrative. Amen. The Spirit of God is going to be operative. Invite someone. Bring someone tomorrow. Don't stay home. Come with someone tomorrow. There is an uplifting taking place. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord sustain you for being with us tonight. We appreciate you. We love you. This is Hanwell Worship Center. Please remember that the church is still asking that you keep us in prayer as we pray to move out of where we are. If the Lord has touched you in any way, you can go to the screen. The information is on there. You can go there and give as you are led by the Spirit. Um, by any means, whether it's sell, cash up, or you can give by any form of um, Visa or MasterCard, debit, credit, whatever it is. The information is on the screen. You'll be able to do that. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. And I will see you tomorrow in the flesh. God bless you. This is Pastor Cephas and it's Honeywell Worship Center. God bless you.